Hello, my friends, and welcome to episode number 199 of Deeply Rooted Podcast. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and I would like to um, try a little experiment. Um, This is something I've wanted to do for a really long time. And many of you may already be in communities where this is something that is maybe done or you've gone to these um, settings before, um, they're these storytelling um, spaces where there is a theme and then people come up and they share a story based on the theme. And um, I've always wanted to do something like this. I've always wanted to get gather together about five or six people and um, have them write stories based on prompts. What I like about this idea is that, um, you know, we're telling our stories, everybody's telling their story. Um, There can be a tendency when we're not careful, uh, in an effort, of course, to try to relate and connect and all these types of things, um, you start to feel a bit of one-upsmanship happening. And I feel like when you take a theme and you tell a story, it is your own story based on that theme <laughs> and um and and then the most appropriate thing that you can say is thank you for sharing you've been heard and so i thought i'd just start doing it i'd just start sharing a theme sharing my story um, if you would like to share your story with me, feel free to email me over at wellofcreations at gmail.com. And um, what my hope is, is that sometime within the next six months, so I'm, putting a, I'm doing a long game here, that I would get together a group of people and we would have an experiment where we would have a prompt And then maybe we would all gather on a Zoom call of some sort and we would just share our stories. And I don't know, and just see what happens from there. And perhaps that would cause others to break off and do this very same thing with family or friends or in coffee shops. But this has honestly been my desire for, I'm not even kidding, like seven or eight years. I actually at one point got to the place where it was a birthday I was getting ready to have. I think it was my 45th birthday. And I had told a couple friends, this is really what I want to do for my birthday. I want to gather my favorite people. I want to give them a couple prompts and then we would just share our stories. And of course I got scared and chickened out and one friend was not interested at all in doing it. And I thought, okay, maybe it's a dumb idea. But all that to say is... um, you got to try, right? You got to try. So today's prompt is one thing can't be denied. And here's what I wrote. One thing that can't be denied is that I am determined to be at peace. I cannot stomach turmoil or tension that has no desire to be resolved or fighting just to be right. Life feels fragile. Well, it has always been, but I am fully awake to it now. I can't believe I'm in my 50s. I thought I would have had more figured out by now. I thought that a more sensible way would have gathered all the edges of my life together. And I could finally nod my head and say, Oh, now I see. Perhaps that was arrogant of me to think that I actually understood the way the world worked. They told me in church, if I read my Bible and could quote enough scripture, and prove my allegiance to the church through service and giving, and deny any desire for success or possessions, I was going to receive a reward. But as the years have gone on, 
and this oppressive formula did not work as it should have. I was forced to look at the constructs of this system and who it actually benefits and then stop participating in the facade and slowly as I unravel myself from the deception I noticed that life was never meant to be torment or feel like a cage And I was never supposed to look at peace as some kind of construct or something to be structured. All right, so that's my essay for One Thing Can't Be Denied. I would love to hear what you come up with. Uh, yeah, you could do it in a reel on Instagram. You could send it to me. Uh, to my email address. I'd be happy to read it. Uh, and if you'd like it to be anonymous, just let me know. But I am really very curious uh, if this is of interest to anybody. So thank you for stopping by. I'm going to continue to do this over the next 30 days and uh, let's see what happens. All right. Well, thank you so much and make sure and share this with someone who you think might really enjoy this kind of conversation.